You unlock this door with the key of imagination. Beyond it is another dimension. A dimension of sound, a dimension of sight, a dimension of mind. You're moving into a land of both shadow and substance, of things and ideas. You've just crossed over into the Twilight Zone. lenses. Yes, sir. It was at 255-417. I don't see anything. Maybe not now, but something glittered down there. We went over a lake, you know. I know, it wasn't that. Well, we'll take a closer look, but it's probably the lake. Wasting our time again. I saw something. What? Something metallic, Carter. Yeah? He thinks so. Almost there. Can you look at that. Trees, rivers, a regular incubation lab on this planet. I know what you're thinking. Don't. It's gotta happen sometime. Yeah? Who says? Only the astrophysicist, the biologist, and Mason, you've got aliens on the brain. Your contact happened. <laughs> Maybe we've been out too long. Do you really think man is the only intelligent? All right, all right. So we're going to meet another race. Great. It would be great. It's going to happen sooner or later. Why not to us? Man, that would be something. Another... Here it is. In the viewer. Looks like it might be a ship. Don't count on it. Well, let me see that. We're passing over. Aren't we going to... Will you please? We should at least stop and take some specimens. Mason's right, Captain. But it's your call. <sighs> In your flight chairs, we'll set down. Captain Ross, Lieutenant Mason, Lieutenant Carter, aboard Spaceship X-89, cruising above the 13th planet of Star System 51. In a little while, supposedly, the ship will be landed and specimens taken. Vegetable, mineral, and, if any, animal. These will be brought back to overpopulated Earth, where technicians will evaluate them. And if everything is satisfactory, stamp their findings with the word inhabitable and open yet another planet for colonization. These are the things that are supposed to happen. In actuality, they will not happen at all, but will instead be superseded by events far more unusual because the 13th planet of Star System 51 just happens to be located in the Twilight Zone. Twilight Zone and our story, Death Ship. Starring John Schneider with Stacy Keach as your narrator. You heard the man. Strap in. We're going down. What's the matter with the captain? Beats me. I can hardly talk to him anymore. He has been acting pretty strangely. Who said it? As if he's fighting something. Yeah, us. You really think it's a ship? If it is, I don't see how it could be from Earth. We've got this run all to ourselves. They might have gotten off course. They're not this far. Setting down. Right, Captain. Retros. The porthole. Mother of God. 
It's a ship, all right. Or it was. Now it's a bunch of metal, twisted and... Easy. Don't open the hatch till we check the atmosphere. I'll take a reading. Put your suits on. We won't need helmets. Air's good. Let's go, Mike. Can't get out there fast enough, can you? What does that mean? It means I don't like impulsive behavior. Impulsive? Have I made any mistakes? You're on the verge. Well, then you let me know when I cross the line, won't you? Oh, I will. Don't you worry. We stay together, nobody takes any risks. That's an order. I understand, Captain. Carter? Yeah. All right, then. Let's go. Looks like one of our ships. Don't jump to conclusions. It doesn't it? From what I can see of the markings, it does. Construction could be standard everywhere. Sounds like you're arguing both sides. You don't mean it could be from another species, do you? I don't mean anything yet. It is one of ours. How could it get so far off course? Go aboard, Captain? I don't like it. We have to find out who they are, don't we? How will we know if we don't? All right, but stay together. Let's put our gloves on. Sure thing. Familiar, isn't it? I'm all bent up like this. It's from Earth, no doubt about it. We don't know that. But Captain, look at the shape, the, the styling. We don't know it, Carter. Uh, that's just jammed. Maybe the cabin's still pressurized. Uh, not likely. Door frame's probably twisted. We'll try it together. If it doesn't open, forget about it. Forget about it? There isn't time. We have a schedule to keep. It's moving. <laughs> Let's go. Well, this must be the main cabin. It looks like our ship. Use your flashlights. Over here. What? It's... a body! You turn him over. Don't. Give me a hand. Dear God. Wait a minute. Do you see what I think I see? There's another one against the wall. Help me lift it. Don't, I said. What's going on here? That one has a face like... Nothing's going on. And the third one... He... Carter, try the auxiliary lights. But Captain, is it just me or are we standing here looking at three bodies with three faces that look exactly like our faces? Auxiliary lights. I don't understand. It's not what it seems. Not what it seems. Just hang on. Here come the lights. All right, then. First things first. Uh, here's an ID wallet in, uh, in this one's breast pocket. And here's his government card, picture and all. It says, Lieutenant Robert Mason. See it? That's my name, isn't it? That's my face, just like the one in my pocket right here. Well, isn't it? Put it back. Everybody see it? The same as mine, identical. Put it back. Same with the second one. What is this? You're letting it get to you. Get to me? This is my picture. Me. Hang on, lay them out and get something to cover them with, both of you. Captain, look at the third one and tell me it's not... I see. Cover them now. No, I'm not touching them again. 
Carter. Nobody else touched them. I, I don't know about you fellas, but I need an explanation for this. I need... We're leaving this wreck now. I said now. Everybody out. ship is where we left it, just as we left it. Look ahead of you, 50 yards, what do you see? That's our ship over there, the same place we left it a few minutes ago. Not this one. And those bodies aren't ours. But they are. No, you saw them. I don't know what I saw, and neither do you. You agree with him, Mason? What? We're going back to our ship and radio the base. They'll tell us what to do. Well, then. Shouldn't we? What? There we are. Dead? They're not ours. Get that through your head. Now let's go. You too, Mason. Right. Move. We're alive, I tell you. Alive. Again. Captain, there's no point if it won't... What is this? It was working before! Maybe it's this planet. What are you talking about? Maybe there's an interfering field... That's of... ridiculous. Try the radionic signal. Captain, it's not going to, it's... Will you do as I say? Again. Again. If it doesn't work the first time, they didn't hear us. The return signal is automatic. Do I have to tell you that? All right, let's let's go over this again. There's an answer here somewhere. Those bodies in the other ship aren't ours. That much we're sure of. Well, use your heads. These are our bodies. These, right here. Agreed? I don't know anymore. Neither do I. Listen. You both remember what they told us in training? About the theory of circumnavigating time. They said it might be possible for us to leave Earth in one year, and when we got back, even though we thought it was the same year, it might be the year before. Or the year after. Remember that? It was only a theory, Captain. It's more than a theory, it's what happened to us. We went through some kind of a time warp, right? Into the future. And that ship over there is in the future. Is that what you're saying? Only the probable future. And what does that mean? It means that we're not dead. It also means that we're going to be dead. Not if we don't take off. If we don't go up, we can't crash. But our orders, they don't say to kill ourselves. We're alive now, and the only way to be certain we stay alive is not to go up. Then we can't possibly crash. We avoid it, prevent it. If I've made up my mind, we stay. It's easy enough for you to decide. Meaning? You have no one waiting for you back on Earth. So I have no reason to go back, and I'll be just as happy here as I would be on Earth? Is that it? I think we should vote on it. Oh, you do? You're not the only one, Captain. I'm the only one who gives the orders. Even when our lives are concerned, huh? Especially where your lives are concerned. We stay. For how long? I'm not setting any time limit, Carter. A month? Two months? I'm not setting any limit. We have enough food left for three weeks, Captain. I've no doubt there's edible food outside. You saw the landscape, trees, vegetation. How will we know what's edible and what isn't? We haven't got the equipment to test it. We'll watch the animals. I saw no animals, Captain. Did you? There will be. Well, if there are, there'll be a different form of life. What they eat might be deadly poisonous to us. 
We'll worry about that when the time comes. Right now, there's only one thing to worry about, preserving our lives. It may not even be necessary to stay here permanently. We may figure something out, but for now, the decision is to stay. Not our decision, Captain. Have you a better solution, then? Working at minimum capacity, the ship's electrical reserve can hold out for months. It won't be working at minimum capacity. Why? We're going to need heat. Lots of it. But it's only twilight, and already the temperature outside is minus 13 degrees. Would you rather lift off? Take the risk of duplicating that ship over there? How can we duplicate it, Captain? How can there be two crash ships? Two of me dead, two of Mason, two, two of you. We'll go over it again until we find an answer. Because we have to. I think I'll lie down. Me too. It's been quite a day. It's getting dark out fast. Very, very dark. Mighty pleased to have you back. Well, yeah, did, did you see Mary? She don't know me? I have to go. Oh, wait up. I'll walk you. I don't understand. How long you been home? I, I just got here. Oh, you rocket boys sure travel in form these days. Mary know you're coming? I don't think so. Want to surprise her, huh? Yes. Surprise her. How long you got? I'm not sure. You all right, Mike? Mrs. Nolan? Oman Furlow? I, I don't know. Old Mrs. Nolan still makes that long walk to town every day. And she'll go on forever. Forever. Hey, maybe we can do some hunting while you're home, huh, Mike? Got my shotgun with me. Always carry it now in case I see something. Not that I ever hit anything, but... Hey, where are you going? Oh, I get it. In a hurry. That house. Mary! There's the car. It's the parts in front. Mary. Mary, I'm home. In the living room. The kitchen. Mary. Where are you? Mary. Mary. Are you upstairs? Oh. Mary. Why are you, why are you lying there on the bed like that? I'm, I'm here. Can't you hear me? I'm... It says... Telegram. To Mrs. Michael Carter. We regret to... Carter? Regret to... Inform. Carter. Who is this? I'm talking to you. What are you... What are you... What's the matter? C Captain? What's the matter with you? I was home. Where? Home. My home. You were here. You are here. No. No, I swear it. I, I saw Mary. She was there with a, a telegram. It, it said that I'd been killed. You're alive. Those people I know. Kramer. Mrs. Nolan. I just remember they're, they're dead. Stop it, Carter. Grandma was killed in a hunting accident. This is no move. It never happened. There's an explanation for this. What explanation? I don't know what, but we'll find it. We'll find it, Carter. We'll go over it again and again until we do. You, me, Mason. Where's Mason? He was in his bunk. Well, he's not there now, is he? I've been here the whole time. The hatch is still locked. Mason! Mason! Where is he? Well, where'd he go? You tell me. 
There's nothing but his blanket. My blanket. My blanket. What? What's it doing on the grass? Fishing pole? Can't be. Genie. I looked and looked. I found him. Can't be. Lunch is ready, Daddy. And my hungry. It's all your fault. Genie, is it really you? What's the matter, Daddy? Come here. Oh, come here. Oh, Genie, Genie. What is it, Daddy? Oh, it is you. What's wrong with you? Oh, nothing. I I'm, uh... You know, I'm just glad to see you, that's all. Oh. That wasn't your mother you were just calling just now, was it? You're acting weird. Jeannie, was it? Yes, Daddy. You know that. Where is she? Over by the table. Where? Where? scared me, honey. Bursting out of the bushes like that. I was just setting out fried chicken. Oh, God. Oh, God, what is it? Sweetheart, what's wrong? Nothing now. Are you sure? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> All this for lunch? <laughs> yes. My goodness, so emotional over a little potato salad and chicken. Where's Jeannie? Back there, uh, by the pond. Were you asleep? Are you still asleep? This is a dream. I hope I never wake up. I just hope I go on dreaming and... Mason. Bob? Ruth? Bob? Who's... Let's go, Mason. Why is he here? Stand behind me. But... Just do it. Get out of here, Ross. I said, let's go. Get away from us. You're coming back with me. Where you belong, on the ship. No, Bob. You're having a hallucination, Lieutenant. No, it's real. It isn't. And you're leaving with me. No! You think you can take me? Stop it! You're coming back! I'm staying here. You can't! I won't let you! No! Yes! Back! 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 I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. Take it easy. There was no Ruth, no genie. You lied. Look in your billfold, look! What does the clipping say? Read it! Leave me alone. I'll read it for you. Space pilot's family dies in car crash. The wife and seven-year-old daughter of astronaut Robert Mason died early this morning when the car they were in... It's not true. Now do you still insist you were with them? You alive? They dead? I was with them. I was. You took me away. It's not true, Mason. You took me away from my wife, my home, I... You were here all the time. You and Carter. Uh, he was gone. No. We just couldn't see him, that's all. What are you talking about? I know what it is now. That's what I'm talking about. Give me that clipping. I was wrong. It, it had nothing to do with circumnavigating time. Nothing at all. Mason, remember what you thought when you saw that ship over there? Alien contact. That's what you thought. That's exactly what's happened to us. Captain, there are no such things as... Listen to me. Neither of you was where you thought you were. At, at home. That ship over there isn't ours, and those bodies aren't ours. We, we've been tricked. By who? By whoever it is that lives on this planet and doesn't want anyone else to live here. Now who's crazy? Don't you understand? We haven't seen them, but there are aliens here. 
But aliens who aren't strong enough to chase us away by force or kill us, so what can they do? How can they keep their planet from being colonized? By mind control, that's how. By picking at our brains and finding the death fear. And making use of it by showing us our ship crashed and us dead inside of it, scaring us so much that we didn't dare take off again. And therefore, haven't been able to make our report about this planet. They even know that we can't radio or report to Earth because there's too much interference. We didn't believe there was interference before. I believe it now. Everything that's happened to us since we landed on this planet has been a delusion. No, it happened. I was home. I was it with... It was a delusion. Even Mason's disappearance? W well, why not? If they can make us believe we saw a crashed ship, saw our own bodies inside that ship, they can make us believe anything. That ship over there, that pile of twisted metal, it's not real. Is that your theory? You may see it, even think you touch it. That doesn't prove it exists. What's going to prove it doesn't exist, Captain? What's going to prove that everything you've said is true? I'll tell you what's going to prove it, Lieutenant Mason. Us, going up, taking off, and going all the way back to Earth. Proving that there's nothing holding us back but fear and delusions. Now take your positions and let me at the controls. Wait a minute. In your seat, shoulder straps. What if you're wrong? I'm right. You thought you were right before. You were ready to keep us here indefinitely, you were so sure. Then, in a few minutes, we really will be dead. Flight seats, now. You're... I'm with Mason on this. Get your hands off those switches. That's an order. Are you so arrogant that you'll take a chance on killing us just to prove your point? I'm still the captain of this ship, and you'll do what I say. You're not the captain of our lives. Put your sidearm away. You are not taking us up. You want to stay here then? Starve? Freeze? Never see Earth again? Put it away, Mike. That's no answer. Then what is? I suppose he's right. You agree with him now? He's got a point. It's a big one. We can't just stay here. We do that and we know what'll happen. That's a given. It's a matter of food and the power supply and the temperature at night. We don't have a choice. I guess we don't. There's only one place left to go, and that's up. God have mercy on our souls. Pressure. Rising. Drive reactor. Check. Coordinates. Check. Gyro stabilizer. Active. Vertical thrust. Energized. Then prepare for liftoff. Check. straps. We did it, boys. Check the viewer. Checking. Well, see anything down there now? You were right. If I ever see anything glitter in that viewer again, I'll keep my mouth shut. I was right. Captain? What are you? What are you doing now? Taking her down. We're landing. What? But say that again. Now that we know what it is, there's no reason we shouldn't go back, is there? No reason? Are you out of your mind? Captain, for God's sake! Think. The other ship, the bodies that looked like ours, all an illusion. That's what we were afraid of, but none of it was real. 
Maybe. That's still a hypothetical. We have to get out of here while we have the chance. Now stand aside. Get your hands off the controls. We have orders, Carter. Pick up specimens for analysis. We are going to pick them up. No, we're not. You're not going to. Now you've done it. Now you've done it. Let me at the main controls. You were right the first time. That was us down there. We're gonna crash. Now. No. We're going to die. We're not going to die. I'm not going to let us die. Auxiliary thrusters. It's no use. The stabilizer. The stabilizer. Heck. Heck. Shut up. You're a coward, Carter. You don't even have the guts to fight for your own life. We're still going to land? You bet we're going to land. And when we do, you're going to see that the other ship is gone. Vanished. Because it was never there in the first place. Retros. Slow airspeed. I've got it. Now get in your places. We're not gonna crash. Been right all along, hasn't he? I don't know. Prepare for touchdown. Take a look out the port. It's too dark to see anything. Use the spotlight. Looking. Well, landscape looks the same. Clear. Clear, but how do we know we're facing in the right direction? Give me that. Come on, take a good look. Hills, trees, and... What is it? Let me see. Gone, Captain? Vanished? Is that what you said? All right. It's still there. Sanders, the same wreck. That doesn't mean... I'll tell you what it means. It means you're wrong. Dead wrong. Hang on. There's an explanation for this. And that would be... I don't know yet, but... You'll never know. And neither will we. Now we'll have to go up again. And this time we'll really crash and be killed and end up looking just like those things before... No. What did you say? We're not going to crash. How do you know? We're not going to crash because we already have crashed. Explain that. Stop fighting it, Captain. You're all out of explanations. What are you... There's only one explanation left, and you know what it is. Mason? I know nothing of the kind. Yes, you do. Carter was home, and that telegram was really there. I was with my wife and daughter, because I'm like them now. No. Accept it, Captain. Accept what? Stop trying to prove that we're alive. We are alive. I don't know what it is that's happening here, but there's an answer somewhere. Somewhere. I've given you the answer. I don't accept it. We're going over this again. We're going to find the real answer. Maybe you should listen to him. Can't you see that's what we've been doing? Going over it again and again? Then we'll just have to keep going on until... What happened to the lights? Mason, I... Let us die, Captain. I, I can barely see you. It, it, it's like I can see through you. Let go of us. Let us die. No. No! We're alive. Alive. We're going over it one more time from the beginning, you hear me? One more time.
Captain. What? Look in the viewer. Switch lenses. Yes, sir. It was at 255-417. See anything. Maybe not now, but something glittered down there. We went over a lake, you know. I know, it wasn't that. Well, we'll take a closer look, but it's probably the lake. Wasting our time again. What are we turning for? I saw something. What? Something metallic, Carter. Yeah? He thinks so. Almost there. Trees, rivers, a regular incubation lab on this planet. I know what you're thinking. Don't. It's gotta happen sometime. Yeah? Who says? Only the astrophysicists, the biologists, and... Mason, you've got aliens on the brain. Your contact have <laughs> Maybe we've been out too long. Do you really think man is the only intelligent... All right, all, all right. So we're going to meet another race. Great. It would be great. It's going to happen sooner or later. Why not to us? Man, that would be something. Another... There it is. In the viewer. Looks like it might be a ship. Don't count on it. Well, uh, let me see that. We're passing over. Aren't we going to... Will you please? We should at least stop. Take some specimens. Mason's right, Captain. But it's your call. <sighs> In your flight chairs, we'll set down. Captain Ross, Lieutenant Mason, Lieutenant Carter, aboard Spaceship X-89, cruising above the 13th planet of Star System 51. In a little while, supposedly, the ship will be here. Pictured of a man who will not see anything he does not choose to see, including his own death. A man of such indomitable will that even the two men under his command are not allowed by him to see the truth. Which truth is that they are no longer among the living, that the movements they are now about to make, the words they are now about to speak, have all been made and spoken countless times before, and will be made and spoken countless times again, perhaps even unto eternity. Pictured of a latter-day flying Dutchman sailing into the twilight zone.